Yep, we're back with more tacos, but this is LA, baby, and we love tacos. Yo les dije a todos ustedes, I told you I'm the greatest. are ready for this but we're here at tacos 1986 the hottest place in la to get tacos right now they started out as a small food stand and not too long ago they opened up this brick and mortar the line is already crazy it's barely lunchtime but we have an inn so let's go inside and try these tacos Partners and childhood friends Jorge Joy Alvarez Tostado and Victor Delgado opened Tacos 1986 as a pop-up in November 2018. It was an instant success. The pair's downtown location is no different, with people coming from all over LA and beyond to try Joy's famous Tijuana-style pork adobada. They wanted to bring Tijuana's vibrant late-night taco scene to downtown LA, and clearly, it's working. Oh, it's a regional thing. Uh, people in the north call it adobada because uh, it's marinated in adobo. And it's a little bit more acidic and salty. Uh, we actually put strawberries in our adobo. And people in the south call it al pastor because that's where we made with goats. And uh, I think the Lebanese brought it into Mexico. And uh, I don't know what kind of rub they used, but that's how it was introduced. To make the autobata, Joy and his team construct a monster trompo that can weigh up to 200 pounds. So we're just like stacking it, making sure like it's nice and pressed. The bigger the better for the slice. It just uh, comes out really nice if it's compact. It's been a lot of work, a lot of learning, that's for sure. A lot of learning, a lot of teachings. I always tell my taqueros, you know, if you take respect and honor into building one of these and then selling it and you find your own style, you know, in execution, I don't think you'll ever be hungry if you decide to, oh, I'm gonna go this taquero route, you know, and it's just a, a great way to be a host and cook. Hey, what's up, welcome, you want a taco? Pasele, pasele, I'm the greatest, you know, it just gives that, that playing field to any cook. Yeah. Exactly, well, you have a big stack of meat that you need to sell in hours, you know? And if you have no line, what are you gonna do? You must talk. You must sell tickets. You can't just stand there and be like, yeah, I got, you know, 200 pounds of meat ready to rot and not, not go into people's bellies and explode in people's mouths and create this amazing explosion of acidity, masa, guacamole, textures, fresh onions and cilantro. And, uh, you know, and then you get a little showcase of, hey, what's up? This good looking guy blowing kisses at me, you know, in a very Benihana way, kind of, you know, like this little, and it's gotten us to this great momentum. I've always been like this, you know, uh, my, my, my friends back home, the, the fresas, pinche bola fresas, they, they know that, that I've always been outgoing, you know, and I've always like uh, gone like this and been like, hey, what's up, man? No, I'm the greatest, you know? And, yeah, we know. Everyone knows. Look at this line. Joy's cult of personality truly has taken LA by storm and the tacos are there to back him up. Look at that body. Shake that body. <laughs> Look at that body. They're not even open yet, and they started letting people in uh, because they're just that dedicated to serving the most delicious tacos in LA.
Like any good taqueria worth its salt, the tortillas are handmade. And the carne asada is just as delicious as the signature atabata. Diez mio chakro. The best meat for carne asada. I'm a passionate guy for sure. Express yourself freely, correctly, and back it up. You must express, you know, facial expressions, body expressions, and you must execute. If you say you're the number one taquero in the world, like I say it every day when I wake up, I must back it up. I must stay open. I must feed people in here, you know, that are like, oh yeah, this guy, what he's saying is true. He has the means to back it up. And you know what? He's funny. He's a funny cat. Boom, 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 boom. Gracias, gracias, jefe. ¿Qué tal la mulita? El número uno libra por libra. Yo le dije, jefe. I told him I'm the greatest. Twice. Twice in one day. After watching everyone eat, it was finally my turn and I was so ready. All right, we're gonna start with the pork that we watched him make. It smells heaven sent. I'm gonna try it on its own first. That is tender. Oh my God. Wow. Mm, this is amazing. You can really taste the house-made tortilla. It makes all the difference. It needs to have enough like heft to it to hold everything that's inside this delicious little present. Killing it, killing it. And you saw Joy, you saw how passionate he is about this. And you can tell when you taste this food, you know that there's passion behind this food. And I am passionate about it. Mm. Gotta get up on the carne asada as well. Don't forget about it. Mm. How he gets so much flavor with so few ingredients is beyond me. You gotta come here. You can meet Joy. He'll flex for you. Give you, blow you a kiss. Slap the meat, you know, all of that. Probably shouldn't say slap the meat. That's fine. <laughs> All right, now leave me alone with my tacos because, baby, this is the real deal. I love Los Angeles. Ready for you. We're the kings of LA, though. This is where we're staying. This is home. 